Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, we are supposed to discuss, uh, spend about half an hour discussing Moodle. So, what I thought uh, we could do is to uh, get started with uh, your experience first. Um, I believe it is uh, uh, Moodle is used in many places, and uh, I need volunteers who can come and tell what they have done uh, briefly about maximum five minutes. Are there volunteers? Who are the people who have used Moodle? Okay. So, Amruta, why don't you come? One of you. Good morning, everyone. I am Praveena from Amrita Vishwadhyaya Bidam, Amrithapuri campus. Uh, we, have, uh, we have been using Moodle for uh, our course management system. Actually, uh, we all our teachers have been enrolled into uh, the site. It is installed in one of the servers and it is available even on the internet. And uh, what we normally do is the faculty can attend the uh, enter the attendance of the fac students. That is one of the best features that we have we have been using. The attendance daily attendance is taken per subject. We have uh, an eighty percent attendance uh, is compulsory for all the subjects. So this is being entered every day per uh, subject by every faculty member. And finally, the overall percentage and the daily attendance report will be generated. That is one of the features we have been using. And it is mainly used for online quizzes. We have a uh, on quiz bank, question bank, which is uh, generated and uh, saved on the server. And any time, it can be downloaded in XML format. And uh, it can be uploaded by another faculty member and can be used later on. That is another feature. And uh, another important feature what we have, we have been using is uh, the discussion forum, which is quite interesting. And uh, it is very uh, interesting and very useful for the students. What we do is we uh, initiate some challenging questions. The faculty can pose some questions, and we can initiate a discussion among the students. And everyone can respond to the question. For example, uh, the first student will be giving his uh, response and his uh, opinion about that particular problem. He can solve the problem, and he can share it with um, uh, with his friends and other can have a different opinion and they can also post a different uh, solution and different opinion about the same concept and it tr really trigger interest in subject for example we have been using it for C C++ and other uh, 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 subjects and uh, really some uh, very uh, challenging uh, questions and very um, uh, challenging concepts which is uh, which normally come even from the student side, which we may not have thought about at all. So this is one of the another feature we have been using. And uh, another uh, uh, use was for uh, posting the assignments. Normally what we do is we create assignments and post it on our uh, Moodle page. And the students and the assignment deadline can be set, including the date and time. For example, I can uh, set it as uh, today evening uh, before 5 o'clock, every student have to submit it. So after 5, it will be closed. So students will be very careful about it. And they can upload the assignments, their assignments uh, on our page. And uh, the faculty can directly open it and grade it there. And, there itself, so that uh, uh, every uh, marks and every grades will be uh, stored on the database, and later on we can download it as a report and we can use it. And another uh, feature what we were using is uh, for uploading our lecture notes. Uh, it's available on the server, and any time the f students can go, even if they go home, since it's available on the internet, they can uh, uh, open it and read all our PPT materials and other lecture notes and ebooks. Everything can be uploaded on the server. And uh, it was uh, well appreciated and accepted by the student and faculty community. We thank you. So you used Moodle to? Just for conducting the quiz. Just for conducting the quiz. Quiz. OK. Uh, after that, we are not installed. We are nowadays, now we have a server in, uh, we bought the domain from outside. So we can't able to install. In future, we'll, we plan a server. It should be in our college. Maybe in that time, we will install in the Moodle. Okay. Anybody else? You you had raised your hand. Yeah. You want to say something? Please come. Uh, just uh, before 15 days back, we have implemented it. So I have just uploaded two three files for the students' reference. So I am not uh, knowing detail the uses of this model in in depth. Okay. Just we have started. Okay. So who are the other people? Anybody else? Okay. So um, I think there is going to be a session in the afternoon on Moodle. Is it today? Tomorrow? When is this? On Thursday. Huh? On third. Okay. 
So, we have uh, Nasir with us. Uh, can you just uh, raise your hand? Yeah. So, Nas Nasir is managing uh, Moodle for IIT Bombay. Uh, what I will do is I will briefly tell you some other things for which I have been using Moodle. Okay. So, uh, in this semester, I have been uh, using Moodle for uh, teaching my course digital control. Uh, Moodle is the official uh, uh, LMS for IIT Bombay. LMS stands for Learning Management System. It is the official uh, LMS for IIT Bombay. Uh, as a matter of fact, it is linked to our academic registration system, academic system. So, as soon as students complete registration, they go login. We use the same login for all our activities uh, using our LDAP. So, they use LDAP, they log in, they will see all the courses that they are enrolled in. Uh, for example, this page I have logged in as uh, Kannan Modgalya, you can see here and then it shows the courses that I am teaching. It says this is the course, of course, this shows my previous courses also. Okay? This is the course, process control course that I taught last semester. This is some lab that I taught last semester and this is the same digital control course that I taught one year ago. So, I have this. So, what do I have in this? So, let me click this, select uh, digital control the course that I am teaching now. Okay. So, when I log in, I see the participants who are enrolled in the course. I can look at all the people. For example, there are 53 participants. Okay. And um, uh, these have been arranged. Uh, the information has been arranged week-wise. For example. Here it starts on 13th July, 20th July, 27th July and so on okay, for a whole week. So, if you see here, I post the slides that I used. For example, if you look at this, this one says first 01 introduction, I do not know whether I can make it bigger. Okay, it is getting bigger, you should be able to see it. So, you can see this here. Now, if I press this, it is um, the slide that I have created for that day and I post them there. Um, the way I have been teaching this course, although this has nothing to do with the way Moodle is run, is uh, slightly different from the way we normally teach in IIT. I have already taught this course, you have seen that. Last year I taught this course and it was also video recorded. I put all the videos on our video on demand service within the campus. So, I tell them I have given a schedule for each class. Today this is the lecture that will be covered. The students go through that lecture before coming to the class because it is already available on VOD. And not only that, on the previous night, they should post a question. I have, for example, today I have a class. This is called internal model control. It is it's supposed to be taught today, but the slides I have already given to the students. The video also they have already gone through. Now, they are supposed to post a question and you can see here, I have create a, created a forum called uh, IMC doubts. It has a heading called IMC doubts. If I click this, so I have said that post your doubts here. So, for example, this is something I posted yesterday. Wednesday 30th September 2009 at 9 10 last night 
I said post your doubts. Each person is supposed to post one question, right? And they can see other people's question only after they post one. So it is known as Q and A forum that comes with Moodle. Okay, you can see lots of questions. This question, for example, Damle Ashwin Mohan has asked some question. So he says that some questions, he has actually asked three questions. Could you please explain reciprocal polynomials in IMC design? Then he says, this is an aside, how do you come up with a strategy as in slide 17? He is referring to the slide that I have posted. He has asked three questions. Each one has to ask one question, but in that question they have asked more than one. So this morning, what I do is, in the morning of the class, normally I uh, sit for about an hour or so and answer all these questions. So this is my answer. Today I gave the answer at 7.29 a.m. Okay, and then I talk about uh, where where some other information is there, and then uh, some paper I have attached, and so on. So this is the answer that I have given. And then second student has asked this question, and then I have replied. Okay, so in this way, so this is one way. Of course, the moment they post one question, they can answer other people's questions. They'll be able to see other all other questions. Okay. Until you post yours, you can't see others. The moment you post it, you can see all of it. You can also respond to their questions. You can see some of them, this person, Manikantan has answered more than one, asked more than the third one. And uh, I am trying to see if uh, some students have answered others' questions. Okay, maybe not today. Okay. But I can show you, show you maybe on the previous day, for example, let me take this. This is something on pole placement. Uh, look at this. So here is the question that a student by name Aparav Deka has asked, what is the effect of gamma on my controller? This is 9th September at 11.04 p.m. And Bandi Prasad has replied, Thursday midnight 1.03 a.m. In order to get our response to this, whatever, this gamma will be used. So this is his answer. And I have given my answer. On the next day at 9 a.m., 8:56. So you can see that the students can answer each other's question, as Praveena mentioned just now. Uh, the other thing that I do is, um, of course, I have uh, something called news forum. So in the news forum, uh, these are just announcements, general news and announcements. So I have lots of things, project discussions, mid-semester exam, dubbing competition, book has arrived, Scilab class tomorrow, whatever general announcements I put and the people, you know, start discussing. And of course, these are available, I can create forum in every place. What I have to do is I have to say turn editing on. The moment I turn the editing on, let's see, it's downloading. Now, I can add, do lots of things. For example, I can add a resource, insert a label, compose a text page, compose a web page, link to a file or website. By the way, this, uh, this uh, PDF file that I have created, I uploaded and created a link to that. So that's how, that's where this is used. Um, display a directory and so on. And then add an activity, here it gives a lot of things. Can you see this? Yeah. The one, the other one that I talked about is a forum, discussion forum. 
this forum has lots of things. If I click this, so here for example, it says what is a forum type? Single simple discussion or each person posts one discussion, Q and A forum. Just now I talked about the Q and A forum. A person posts one question, only then they can see others. That is a Q and A forum. Uh, standard forum for general use is what I had posted in the beginning that everybody replies and so on. Uh, you will see more of this I think when you go to this uh, Moodle class on third, right. You will discuss some of these, yeah you will discuss some of these uh, because we actually do not have time. The time when I started the time was already over, okay let me cancel this. Okay. The other thing that I have also uh, created here is uh, what this is called individual student groups. Okay. So, this is used to set up a channel of communication between each student separately. Other people cannot see it. It is a private channel between me and the student. Right? Sometimes the student do not want to ask some questions. They feel delicate about some asking something. I have difficulty in the way you are teaching this class. Okay. I am you know I come from outside I have some problem. This is something that is not of interest to everybody. So, they may not want to discuss this openly or they might say that it would be a lot better if you you know make your writing slightly better. If you speak clearer, no whatever there could be many these things. I am sick, I will not come for two days. So, that they do not have to tell everybody. So, that they can put here. The reason of course, they can do this through email also, but if you do it through email, you may actually forget, you may get buried with hundreds of mails that are coming every day. Here you will not, you will have to say, supposing you say I want to go and today I want, I want to send, spend one hour, half an hour every day answering all questions related to the subject, it is all there. Okay. There can also be project ideas. So, if I look at this, let us take this Himanshu Kumar. Okay. Where is this? Let me take, uh, oh sorry, the no reply has been put. So, let us take this. Okay, I have to click here. So, this is uh, uh, this uh, person by name Srivalli, she has posted here and then to that my TA Indrapreet Arora has replied. So, the TAs can also answer. Students can reply, TAs can reply, faculty members can reply. So, it makes it and uh, of course, the students themselves start participating. So, this is a very powerful tool. I have also uh, set up something called okay, oh, it is not going. Okay another one called one wiki per student. Each student has to create a wiki and maintain it. So, I am not sure how many people have done this, but I have this is group wiki for three. Okay, they have not done anything. Okay, I am not sure whether it is possible. Okay. So, I created one wiki per student. If you see here, I have created groups. It is possible to have groups, groups of two, three people and in each group you add students. What I have done is I have created one wiki per student. My group is made up of just one person. So, not sure whether anybody has created. Okay. So, this person Kunal Salunke has created certain things. Of course, it is not formatted properly, but you can see that he has actually created. Once he learns how to do this, can be done. So, this is also something very nice. Okay. And of course, uh, uh, you know I have not uh, used this for quiz. The quiz is for multiple type uh, answer generally. So, that is something that I have not. Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell. Now that we are discussing about the, the way it is, the course is done. As soon as the students come to my class, they have to answer a quiz. Every day I conduct a quiz. There are 20 classes, there are 18 students, so there will be 360 questions minimum. 
for which answers are given in the semester plus 20 quiz every day 20 minutes they have to it is to make sure that they go through it it is not enough if they just go through the slides slides you can just look at it in 5 minutes finished okay there are things that are told that are not in the slide right because slide is just used as a mnemonic that you remember things right and then the remaining one hour I answer discuss some of these things I discuss the questions in Moodle discuss the questions in uh, in uh, in the quiz paper or if certain things on top of it of course the students have more doubts so they have so the whole class is devoted to just discussion so I have converted this course into completely discussion based course using a recorded material so I would in fact uh, it is a great way to use some of the resources that we are creating under for example NPTEL or under uh, you know IIT Bombay whatever we are recording if you think that there is a good match you can just say I want to use it you know I would uh, in fact Professor Fartek is I mean CS 101 is going to be available in case some of you would want to do that at least the delivery part lecturing part you could do that okay so with this I will uh, stop the discussion on Moodle um, and then I will move on to the next topic where I have to uh, talk about uh, CD. If you have quick questions, I can answer. If there are longer questions, we can discuss either during lunch time or um, on Thursday, on third, when you have the Moodle session. You have any quick questions? Yeah. Sir, could you please explain how to conduct quizzes in the classes? How do you conduct quiz? No, I don't. The question is, how do you conduct quiz? I do not do, oh, quiz, it is a regular paper. The written? It is a written paper. I give one sheet, one sheet of paper. I will show you a standard uh, quiz. For this, I do not need. Any other question? Okay, it is not a problem. Uh, let me open the quiz that I gave in the last class. I am yet to set the paper for today's class. Oops. Okay. So, this is a question. So, this, this is a quiz I gave on 24th September 2009, okay, which is uh, last Thursday what is the closed loop transfer function between r and y in the following diagram. So, they just have to do some calculation and give next one. So, I have asked another question. So, it is a standard on paper. This is just to make sure that they read it. This is to make sure that they go through the lecture every day. Every class there is a quiz. Immediately I have my TAs who are waiting who will be waiting and they finish it when the students leave it is given to them and the grading is 0, 1, 2. 0 means they have not gone through the, the lecture, 2 means it is ok, I mean they have done ok, not so good, 1. There is no question of 3 and a half marks, 4 and a half, nothing like that. They get only 0, 1, 2. Okay. I leave the thing to the TAs. And you do it during the lecture session sir? Sorry? This is during the lecture lecture hour, right? Yeah. So for 20 minutes. Yeah. And it includes evaluation also. So evaluation is done by the TAs. I do not do it. After the class? No, they go outside and grade. Okay. 20 minutes Back. later, I collect everything, give it to the TAs, they go grade. I conduct the class. Oh, okay. Right? You have some question? Okay. Finish it fast. I am Srinivas of SRM University. As such, though the university has a website, the IT department has a separate website fully developed by the students and we are maintaining it srmit.net probably uh, all these kind of things are uh, there available but I like to f uh, know the difference or the advantage of Moodle when compared to a website. Uh, so, we will discuss this later I do not want to answer this. <laughs> 